Get it! Gang, welcome back to the channel once again, guys. We back with another banger video, man. Today we finna react to a crime watch daily. I reacted to a similar video to this, but it's ABC News that I reacted to. I reacted to a female trying to hire a hitman to kill her husband. I'll put it at the end screen when this video is done. Today, we ain't gonna react to no female trying to kill her husband. This video is a little bit different. We gonna react to a daycare worker pleads guilty to child endangerment after abuse caught on camera. So, this female is abusing the little kids. For what? Little kids are harmless, bro. So there's no way you got a reason the only reason she might have but it's still bad it do it doesn't make you look good i get children are annoying at times they cry they poop they piss they destroy things but understand they're little kids you can't abuse little kids though like that's wrong especially you caught on camera they caught you on camera and she went up in the court guilty as shit bro she she didn't even fight at all because at the end of the day there's no reason to fight. You know what I'm saying? If she pleads not guilty, come on. The court's still gonna sentence you to guilty because it's recorded proof. You know what I'm saying? So there's no reason to fight, bro. So she pleads guilty. And today we're just gonna see why or what she did to these kids to abuse her. Because right now I'm seeing like two kids. I don't see any more right now, but maybe there's more. It's a daycare. I wish we could tell you this was fake. In this infuriatingly hard to watch video, a woman flings around a baby like old clothes, stuffs a rag in another child's mouth, and no. even picks one girl up by her head. Unfortunately, what you're watching is all too real, and the parents of the abused never saw it coming. No. I thought she She didn't put her feet on the child's head. She didn't just do that. She didn't put her fucking dirty ass feet on the child's head. Her musty ass foot. She was a great person, a great daycare provider, that I trusted her completely. When it came to finding a daycare for her little girl, Desiree LeBlanc thought she knew Bruh. what... I'm feeling so hurt right now. You see how she's doing? That baby looking like they not even a year old yet. You know what I'm saying? And she treating the baby. And she stuffed a rag in the baby's mouth. <laughs> this daycare worker, bro. Oh my God. Oh my. Um. What she was doing, maybe even better than most. I worked for the Department of Human Services at that time. I was a child protective investigator. As a DHS worker, um, I've done hundreds of, of cases, and I'm trained to see things. I have seen virtually every type of child abuse that there is. So when Desiree met in-home daycare owner Christina Williamson, she did her research. She was referred to us by a family friend um, who knew her husband and her husband's family. Um, so I, I met with Christina. Uh, her home was immaculate, everything was neat, there was uh, tubs of toys, easels, uh, ride-on toys, um, the, the basement opened up into the backyard with sliding doors so she was able to have the kids go outside. Everything was always very neat and orderly. And it wasn't just about how she kept her house. She seemed extremely attentive. She was constantly sending photographs letting us know that everything was okay and then if there was ever a concern um, she would equally message right away and say that our, our daughter scratched herself um, on whatever and a picture that would show us a scratch so nigga what this fly came from play with me one more time bro I'm automatically we're like oh she's very you know concerned but those weren't the only pictures being taken and some of those scratches may not have been so accidental again we want to let you know these images may be extremely disturbing to some viewers no, no. it was a Wednesday it was May 13th and I was working and got a call from my supervisor 
that I needed to go and pick up my daughter at the daycare and not to talk to Christina and not to ask any questions, that there was an incident. Not just one incident and not just one child. What Desiree didn't yet know was that just weeks before, Christina's soon-to-be ex-husband had put up surveillance cameras around the home. My understanding is that Christina's husband installed the video cameras because he, there was some statements made by uh, the eight-year-old in the house indicating that there was some kind of unusual treatment uh, by Christina Williamson. He got way more than he thought he would. With our daughter, the videos show her sleeping and Christina yanking her up by the arm and no. uh, flinging her onto the floor. They show her picking her up by her head. She, um, they, they keep on saying flinging. I thought that was just a Jamaican term, but I guess not. I guess we're, we ain't that special. Y'all know flinging like me through or uh, some shit like that you know what i'm saying that that's what we use the term for that that's what we use the term for and i'm saying i didn't know others use that i didn't even know it was a word to be honest i just thought it was just a word jamaicans came up with pardon me for being unsophisticated pushes our daughter down so that she's folded in half no and uh, she holds her that way um, for about 90 seconds. It was just horrifying. It was just, it was just awful. And the list goes on, from leaving kids unattended to shocking physical abuse. Christina's husband discovered what was on the tape, then he took action. Pleasant Hill Police Department then reviewed the videotape and contacted the Polk County Attorney's Office. Well, it makes you sick to see a little infant, uh, you know, having things done uh, to them, they can't say anything, yeah, they can't uh, protect themselves, they're totally uh, uh, unprotected, and for an adult to do that, it really uh, upsets you. She's stuffing the... So, what's the purpose of it, though? Is she, like, mental, or... It's just that she hates kids, or what? But she can't hate kids if she have kids of her own, because the lady said she went to her home, toys are there and shit. So... After completing a thorough investigation, including getting several statements from multiple parents, Christina Williamson is placed in a very different kind of daycare. She is initially charged with four counts of child endangerment, causing bodily injury, and one lesser charge of endangerment. But in court, Williamson takes a deal. Ms. Williamson, how do you plead to count one? Guilty. She agrees to plead guilty to one charge of felony child endangerment and one count of aggravated misdemeanor, misdemeanor. child endangerment. Like, as she, 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 she can't fight it, bro, because honestly, if, if, if it were, weren't recorded, bro, she, she might, might have said, okay, not guilty, but like there's recorded proof. So she, she ain't got no choice but to say guilty. But what I want to know is why. That's all I want to know. Part of her plea. She picked up the child by one arm. Christina is required to give a full account of her actions, speaking here about Desiree's daughter, referred to as A.N., as well as another child. Uh, I handled A.N. roughly and N.R. roughly to the point where one was crying and you could tell that there might have been potential injury. All of the abuse was unprovoked. Certainly, there's no justification for that sort of behavior. But when you see the video and you see that the kids are just being normal kids, they're not crying, they're not fussing, she does not appear distressed, and then she just lashes out for no reason. At sentencing, Christina is forced to listen to the parents of her victims talk no, about no, the no, hell no. she put great. them through. We were inconsolable with guilt, knowing that we had unwitting placed our precious baby girl in the hands of a monster on a daily basis. Part of what happened as a result of this situation is I decided to leave my job. She was afraid of you and I didn't see it. Here I'm being entrusted to find out if this child is safe and I don't even have the ability to know if my own child is safe. Now I see it and it breaks my heart. 
When it's finally time for Christina to speak, she addresses the parents directly. I'm sorry for every she goes on to cite multiple mental health issues for her actions, but the judge shows little mercy. And I have kids, and um, watching those films was, was just sickening. Parents, very... in this case, trusted you to care for the most precious thing that they have as their children. And uh, you violated that trust. Clearly the videotape was the most crucial piece of evidence that we had against Christina Williamson. She pled guilty to a Class D felony, and she also pled guilty to an aggravated misdemeanor. She is currently serving a five-year sentence. Thankfully, none of the children under Christina's so-called care have shown any lasting effects, including Desiree's now happy and healthy toddler. So care. But the parents of Christina's helpless victims know it could have been a very different story if not for one well-placed. I never saw anything at oh. Christina's that I can look that back and say was a red flag. Here. Every day we would hand our child over to a person who smiled at our faces and then did these terrible things when we walked out the door. I believe that without those videos that I would have struggled to believe that something happened. She said it was some mental issues. No wonder her house is immaculate bro because Honestly, with with kids, bro, your house is not clean at all. You know what I'm saying? Your house got toys each and everywhere in the building, bro. Eat like downstairs, upstairs, the kitchen, the the fucking um, basement. Toys are everywhere. And you said her house is immaculate, meaning something is wrong. She's very strict with her kids. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like honestly, yo. I don't even know if she had kids. I think the lady said that though. But this shit is messed up bro. Like on a scale of 1 to 10 bro, this is a 1200 bro. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed this video man, hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Subscribe to JDH's channel if y'all enjoying these reactions video. Reactions video. Reaction video. <laughs> if y'all are enjoying these reaction videos, man, hit that thumbs up button down below. Comment down below what y'all want me to react to next. Because this is some messed up shit. This is not cool. This lady pisses me off, bro. You know what I'm saying? Piss me off for seeing how oh, you going to stuff rag in this little child's mouth. What to shut up? Oh my, that's. Oh my god. Yeah. Peace. This female is way too messed up for my taste. Come on. You, you, you was on some op shit. I was cruising down a nigga.